Thank you very much, Somya, for an, a brief introduction about me. Thank you. Sir. First of all, respected chairman Sri M. Lakshman Reddy sir, respected executive director Sri G. Chandrasekhar Yadav sir, and chief guest of the today's program, Mr. Navneet Budhiraj, who is the senior IT professional and working for Wipro Technology Bangalore, and uh, HOD and the convener of today's program, Dr. Uh, Narayanan and uh, co-convener of this today's international conference, uh, Dr. Pungadai, and uh, national advisory board members, international advisory board members, coordinators, and uh, the HODs and deans of various department, students of this computer science and engineering department, invited guests, last but not the least, the participant across the globe. Very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Santosh Kumar Patro, Principal of St. Martin Engineering College. Wholeheartedly, I would like to welcome you all to this two days online international conference, which is titled as Innovations and Recent Trends in Computer Science, which is scheduled for two days, today and tomorrow. And as already Dr. Narayanan was addressing to you, there are parallel sessions have been planned and uh, we are planning to complete the program as per the schedule, how it is all planned. So, first of all, <clears throat> I would like to congratulate all the participants who has taken the interest and participated in this conference. As already uh, we came to know that there are more than 130 papers have been registered here for this conference. And uh, there are three benefits. All the participants for this conference, they are going to get it. One is what uh, we are going to release the proceeding today with an ISBN number which you will be seeing and the complete proceeding will be given to all of you soft copy of the proceeding will made available for all of you uh, after completion of the conference uh, so you will be getting an ISBN number for your submitted paper and the second thing is what you are going to present your paper and get lot of input which will help you to nurture and do the correction and refine your work and uplift the quality of the work what you are doing. And third, the great achievement what we could able to assess that uh, already the convener has decided if the paper is accepted by the conference organizer, it will be published free of cost in different journals. So I request all the participant, please extend your cooperation because after this conference, the organizer might be asking certain data related to copyrights, related to uh, minimum content corrections and all, so that it will help us to publish your paper free of cost at the earliest. So I request all the participants to extend your cooperation to do all the work in time. So secondly, I would like to, uh, no, at the outset, I would like to congratulate uh, Computer Science and Engineering Department, particularly Dr. Narayanan, uh, because as I have witnessed, uh, when the pandemic was started from March 2020, I think this might be your 12th online event, what you are doing it. And uh, before that also, I think two international conferences were organized by CAC department and all the past two international conference was a grand success. So I wish this program also should be a grand success. And I really appreciate Dr. Narayanan, Dr. Pungadai, and entire team member of CSE department who worked very hard to bring this conference from idea to a reality because just before two months it was planned and it is not that easy to plan an international conference with a less time span and disseminate the information and the browser to all the participant and attract the paper and schedule it and make it as a grand success. So as already you have a success story, so it was easy for you. So my best wishes and also appreciation to the entire department. And I would like to uh, express my gratitude to Mr. Navneet Budhiraj because we could able to understand he is holding such a senior post. And uh, nowadays, you know, after this pandemic, the workload and work pressure for any software professional is very high. The volume, velocity and variety of work has been increased and multifolded. But uh, no, so thank you very much, sir. Even though you are so busy, you have given your kind consent to be the chief guest for you for the 
international conference and we look forward to listen from you about the recent updates and the practices which are all going on on the industry and as the title suggests as you know that one recent trends and innovations in computer science see nowadays what was there today tomorrow it will not be there that is the speed of computer science you see one version today tomorrow you will able to see another version of the software that is the speed that is the space and that is the potentiality of computer science and engineering department this so there are any field you choose it there are phenomenon growth which computer science and engineering department has shown and just to uh, restrict my talk i wanted to narrate you uh, some of the areas as already you know that uh, artificial intelligence is a very big boom and another booming platform is your robotics process automation that is named as rpa and iot you no know, talk of the day nowadays and there are some intelligent apps which are all very popular and uh, now in india almost we are working for 5g technology but in uh, norway and other countries singapore and all already they are practiced of using the seven generation uh, technology also now anyhow we are working on 5g technology so we have very good career prospect in this area too and uh, machine learning blockchain and cognitive computing so these are all areas where high, very high demand is there for the computer science engineers and uh, nowadays there are new Uh, designations are all coming up for the computer science engineer that is named as the data scientist okay so these are all areas which we can focus and we can grow subsequently and this pandemic as you know that from march 2020 to almost last month because now almost one month we have the liberty of working through offline and that was the reason because we were not sure when we scheduled this conference we were not sure that whether it is going to be you no know, working day or work from home so that is why for this safe side we planned for the international conference through online so of course down the line whatever all conferences will be planned we will you no know, try to make it as an offline so that it is there is an opportunity for us also to invite you all to hyderabad it is a beautiful city and you should spend two days with us and also uh we should learn from you and you should learn from us and let us spend some time together so now as i was telling to you after this pandemic the usage and application and dependency on computer and computer based applications are huge the people those who are afraid of touching to the smartphone now they are the expertise of using the smartphone and not only usage of the smartphone even they know what are all different apps are required which are all relevant to their profession and the computer science people the engineers have you know so much of you know expertise and so much of knowledge matrix so they have given to the society all different different application which are all need of the hour any physical task any mechanical task that was simulated in the form of a app so that the working atmosphere and the ecosystem of any of the unit is not stopped for an example if we will take the example of research and development which are all necessary to meet discuss and evaluate physically that was not necessary now there are lot of apps which can analyze the data give you the results and it put forth to you for the further discussions similarly on education domain so we all are belongs to this fraternity as you know that there are many apps which are all available even today also we are using uh, microsoft team it is an application software so by using that one itself we could able to host our international conference classes assignments and even what not the online examinations too which are, which are all uh, organized by using the apps and another area is related to the staff recruitment earlier what was happening it was a offline interview we have to go to in, uh, venue to the company and there will be in a process of conducting the interview now by using different apps uh, the companies are uh, doing the recruitment even the big companies like wipro also i think navneet mr navneet also will agree with me so even the big companies like wipro tcs cognizant infosys 
all these companies are also doing the online recruitment so this is all a great applications and the great achievement of computer science engineers only and there are many like you no know, supply chain management coll collaboration product activity all these things there is a great examples and i wanted to tell you how these computer science tools are acted as a blessings for the mankind so just to name out because you know that covid pandemic was going on and nobody could able to anticipate what will happen in future and who are all infected patients were there what is their survival rate and all even the doctors were unable to predict because there is no past experience with respect to this disease so in this time the great computer engineers came out with two different tools and one is what blue dot another one is the xg boost so this two these two tools has got the potentiality of analyzing the data and tell to the public as well as to the patient the percentage of infection ratio what is the level of infection one patient has been infected and the second thing is what it has got the capability to predict and tell us is it audible yes sir no. now it's audible sir yeah so i think in, in between uh, some great work happened because of the computer engineers only yes. okay so i would like to uh, no just uh, before i uh, uh, complete my talk i would like to as i was telling you about the xg boost and as well as the blue dot apps which are all available Uh, for the covid 19 patients so there are some similar apps which are all used for the different different platform for an example uh, there is an app which normally used named as dashly d a s h l y it is all in a communication tool for the people who are all uh, fighting with the covid 19 which played a great role to deal with the covid patient and uh, there are some apps which are all apps i am telling it is absolutely free you can download and you can start use also okay so there is there is an another uh, apps which named as with the yard which is a uh, video message messaging app which enhance the internal communication for all kind of small or big business which are all uh, need to be carried out similarly i i came across one more app that is named as your uh, panda doc and panda doc it is also in a free app where you will able to uh, approve any documents and whatever all documents you want to upload also it is a, it supports with onlo, uh, unlimited uploads and also e authentication e signature all these things are possible and it is all free of cost and the list goes on there are many apps which are all available it is all the uh, capability it is all the outcome of the great computer engineers who has done great work not only uh, for the Uh, this one requirement and also for the mankind so now we could able to understand the in innovations and the recent trends of computer science it is not in a luxury now it is become more necessity and people are adopted to it and without computer we cannot imagine a life for all of us so first of all uh, so i would like to you know congratulate the department particularly the hod dr narayanan for choosing such a beautiful title which will have a lot of values for all the stakeholders who are all going to participate today and also it will add lot of values for improve our knowledge matrix so with this small note uh, so before i sign out i wish all the very best to all the participant have a very good presentation and learn whatever all the objective of this conference is planned so thanks for listening to me and thank for opportunity have a great day thank you